Hello and welcome to a new video on this channel. I'm back from a break and today we will build a new marble lift. In the last marble test we came to the result that 16 out of 19 marbles that failed, failed at the marble lift. The marble lift also caused other issues, for example with a wooden part breaking and with a low reliability. In a stream by Martin and Hannes I saw an idea for a better marble lift with only one moving part and I couldn't get it out of my head. Because of that I made a small prototype and as you can see it worked perfectly right from the beginning. So I designed the whole lift in Fusion 360. If we look in the lift itself we can see that it has four channels so the system can lift four marbles at the same time. After I printed the building plan, I started to cut and build the new lift. I used an easy method to cut the pieces. First, I glued the paper pieces on plywood and after that I could saw the pieces so that every piece has the same size. So, let's glue the things together. First off, I glued the wheel in the middle together. It has four channels next to each other and on every wheel there are four holes for the marbles. Every crank turn I do on the machine, the wheel in the lift turns 180 degrees, so that we can lift eight marbles per crank turn. The wheel is mounted on two ball bearings on each side, so that it can rotate freely. The four pins at the top push the marbles out of the wheel at the top of the whole lift. These are the most important parts, because if they break, no marbles will be lifted to the top. Also, the pieces of the marble lift are only screwed, so in the case something happens, we can disassemble the lift. Now we will do a stress test to see if the system is working with the weight of all the marbles in the pipe. So the whole tube is filled with marbles and the system is working. So now we can install all the other tubes and install the whole system on the machine. To install the new marble lift, I first had to disassemble the old marble lift. So I disassembled the two wheels, one at the top and the other at the bottom. Furthermore, I had to disassemble the gears at the bottom, so that the new marble lift fits. After all this, I finally put the new marble lift on the machine. It has only a small movable connection to a gear at the bottom. 
At the top I designed the marble exit, which leads to the marble divider at the top. At the end I built the marble entry, so that all the marbles get into the marble lift. After that I could start testing the new marble lift on the machine. The first pipe is completely filled with marbles and the system works, so let's keep going. At the beginning the system worked quite well, but when the pipe was almost completely filled with marbles more and more problems occurred. I had to disassemble the lift again and the wheel in the middle was badly damaged. I built a new wheel and tested it again. But it did not work as I had imagined. We have to talk. The longer I build this machine, the more I understand why Martin quit the MMX project. The lift doesn't work at all, at least not in my case. The pressure from all the marbles in the pipe is too high so that the new marble lift system can't operate at all. I could split the marble lift into two parts, but the risk is too high that this would cause even more problems. For this reason, I won't use the new marble lift on the MMT. It was so much work to build it, but I don't want to waste more time on this system. I found another lift system and I will try to build this in a new video, so hopefully it will work, fingers crossed. Besides that, I'm planning to film a new music video. So if you have any idea for great music that I could play on the machine, write it in the comments. And if you don't want to miss anything, consider subscribing. I'm not giving up on my dream of a working marble machine. Not yet.